we're doing this again. Hello, welcome back. Diffuser, don't mind me for looking like this. I've been very ill, but I'm still gonna do this because I am the bitch. We have a, a Zero design rear diffuser for the F20 118i. Not Maxton Designs, so I am going to have a clash on my aero, which means Zero Design and Maxton Designs, you're now at war, okay? Winner gets to sponsor me. We're going to unbox this because extra duration for the video. Remember, always cut it in a safe manner. Away, oh God, I think I cut the instructions. Away from your wrists. More stickers. I've just put a Max and Designs sticker on my rear window. Now I can have a Zero, zero Designs sticker on my rear window as well. Even more reason for you two companies to go at war. Are you painted? Yes, you're painted. You're painted, right? You are painted. Yes, you're painted. Piss off. Good plastic. <laughs> I'm moving here because of the bloody waterfall. It's affecting my audio. Oh! Ah. Oh. Okay, so there's like a a number on like arrow piece or whatever, just to show like which specific one it is. Like, as in this one specifically is number B. <laughs> Zero, zero, 005. There was just one more B. It would have been hilarious. Ah, sticky stuff off. Oh. Okay, this is very good. Oh, no. I'm going to have to put the reflectors in. Boobs. It was going to say boobs. It said that it comes with hardware and instructions, yet I've seen neither in the box. I've just seen two stickers of Zero Designs. Okay, I I'm more with Maxton Designs because theirs is more simpler. Um, I'm going to check the box again because I'm an imbecile and there is no way that I'm going to be able to do this by myself. I'm going to say without hardware, I think I could without instructions. This is a sticker thing, I'm just checking. Okay, what's in you? Oh, shit. Oh, sh what the hell just fell out of my top? Uh, the thingy to put on it that no one's gonna see. I'm, mm, I, I can't be bothered to do that. Uh, the air, air freshener, which is needed because I smell. Uh, and, and stickers. I don't know how to make this more enthusiastic. <laughs> Who's Altoid? Oh, the vehicle styling shop. Okay. Where's my bloody hardware? Altoid. Uh, and then my receipt. I was promised hardware. And installation instructions. I was given neither. And I wanted this to be the first mod that I properly installed because the, the lip, the rear lip, that thing, that's just a peel off sticker, put it on roof. I'm going to have to do this all on my own. How hard can it be? Okay, so I've realised I might have done a stupid, that little bit that I did for the intro. Um, obviously, it made my exhaust hot, and the bolts, or the clips, or the screws, or whatever, mechanic, 
are probably underneath here, where the exhaust is. I know how to do it. So at the bottom, there's two screws on each side, just at the bottom. You need to just take those out and then shimmy the, the black bit out because of these tabs that are actually into the rear bumper. Don't know how I'm gonna do the shimmying yet, but at least I know to take these two, I don't even know what they are. Okay, so one of them is in a bolt pattern, but I don't know what the other one is. This is talking about one side, it's future me problem. I don't care, I'm gonna at least do one of them or technically two of them. Update, I can't find the right thingy. Um, and it's only been 15 minutes and I'm already at the point where I'm tempted to use scissors to like you know but that's irresponsible okay yeah I, I genuinely thought that was gonna work it nearly did it nearly did I thought it was a screwy thing it's not it's a pulley thing Oh my god, that's gonna look amazing. There's a sensor. I installed the sticker so I can get like some joy out of today. All of these are wonky now, by the way, because of the Hoonigan sticker. I figured it out. It took me three days. So I'm gonna try this again. Um, I'm not going to move my car so that the exhaust gets hot because I do have to fiddle around down there. So I, I have to move something else. <laughs> right, so to do this, there's one eight mil on each side and one pin on each side, so it's a pin. Uh, to do the eight mil, I'm just gonna do, you'd like use this again, which isn't correct, but I don't care. And for the pins, I'm just using these very rusty pliers. An eight mil, please. This does not sound correct, but I watched a YouTube video. Oh my god. Uh, one very, very bent clip. Oh, not in pen. One very, very bent pen. Other eight mil. Oh, that one was a lot easier. Right, now that those four things are off, you should just be able to, like I said previously, you can actually just shimmy it up here. So there are a bunch of clips around the top layer and you just shimmy it off. Okay, I was wrong again. So, for these pins, very important, once you take them out, there is this beneath it. You can unscrew this after you've taken this out with your fingers. And then I'm pretty sure, yes, then it is unsecure from the actual bumper. So I'm gonna, wherever I put it, there it is. You need to take this out straight after it is on both sides underneath these pins. Okay, so the other side now. Okay, there we go. There we go. Other one done. That one was more tricky. Right, now you should be loose. Yes, you are loose. 
Right, you are loose, right? Yeah, you are. Ugh. Okay, now. Yep. Now you just go around, go start from one of the bottom corners. And you just literally pull it off. <laughs> Uh, I've ruined my car. So here you have the reflectors. You're going to need to take these out because they're going to need to go on the other bumper. Ah, one done. And other one done, which is way easier. Yeah. I can't remember which side's which. Damn it. Yeah, this is that side. That does not seem as secure as the other one. Look, here before it was completely on and like these clips here, yeah, you can see that. They would actually clip onto it. So here would clip on there, here would clip on over there, and here would go further forwards and more down. For this though, they kind of just hang and they can fall off really easily. So I'm going to need to get some screws and screw them in place here and here just to be safe. Right, okay, couldn't find the right screws, so aluminium tape. Okay, it shakes a little bit, but it's secure-ish. Now to put it back on, just the same, kind of the same, way that I put it on. So let's try to start in the middle. Where's the middle? Should probably just start on one side actually. Yeah, just start on one side and I'm gonna try and work my way around. Right, okay, that's now kind of on. Oh my god, that looks amazing. I'm gonna put the eight mils in first because those are the easiest and it'll secure it down the best, I think. Hold on. Oh god, now it's time for the weird pin things. So it's the weird screwy pin thing first. Oh, I literally just pushed it in. That is not reassuring. And then this which is very bent now thanks to me okay so, oh, oh so much stuff on my face right it's a lot easier to put back in than it is to take out which is always good because usually it's the other way around when you're working with cars okay other side screw thingy then pin even though i'm not really screwing it i'm kind of just pushing it I think I'm done. I think I'm not done. I am not done. I've still got this to put on. I'm gonna clean everything up and then show you the proper thing. I am 
very, very happy with this. I can't actually believe that I managed to do this on my own. So something's probably gonna go wrong with it in about a week. So yeah, bit annoyed. It didn't come with hardware or instructions. So I kind of had to figure it out on my own, but I'm pretty happy with myself. It's not really on properly though. Like it is here, but on the sides, like, Yeah, we're gonna ignore that, but the bolts are on, so it will just hang a little bit. Um, but yeah, big thank you to Zero Designs. Don't know why I keep on forgetting the name. Next video should be RHPK round five because I filmed that yesterday. So that will be out in about maybe a week, maybe a bit less. I don't know, depends how lazy I am. So I'll see you guys then.